I have with me my cousin from Sweden, uh, Nikesh, and my two cousins from UK, Amit and Rikesh. <clears throat> I, as a brother, fully expect the South African trial against Sri Indvani to continue on the 8th of December and for his application for discharge to be rejected. It would be a terrible development in, a, in what has been a four-year wait if we and the people of South Africa are not afforded the full story. Sri Indavani has insisted all along that he wants to clear his name and he had told the court through his lawyer since the trial began dozens of times that he would help the court with his own version of events. The phrase my client will say or my client will tell the court has become like a mantra to the judge, to the media and to the members who has been at the Western Cape Court. Well, let's have him tell, me, tell it then. <clears throat> this has been his pledge throughout the trial and it would be wrong for him to walk away from South Africa without explaining himself what happened on the night when my sister got murdered in this country. <clears throat> the people here in South Africa has been fantastic towards us. I mean, the support we have received on the streets, by voice calls, by <coughs> texts, by messages has just been unbelievable. So we are very thankful for the people for the support. But many messages we have received shows that South Africa, after spending such high amount of money, time, and expertise on bringing Sri Indivani to the trial, are demanding the full story. And if they were not given the full facts, and by that I mean Sri Indivani telling the court his version, then on his death will remain on the conscience of South Africa forever. It will also mean a lifetime of torture for me and my family, especially my mom and dad. There have been reports that we as a family are planning to take legal actions of our own and sue Sri and Devani after this murder trial is over. This is not the right time to discuss this. However, our motivation is not and will never be financial. We just demand the truth. And we do that with heavy hearts after such a long time. We have also been made aware that there is a petition against the judge in this case. And we would like to strictly point out that we have nothing to do with this. Please allow us the opportunity to demand justice for my sister. Please allow us the full story. We don't, we don't want to return to Sweden or UK after the trial and feel that we did not get a proper and fair trial in South Africa. We have been promised it for four painful years, which has been devastated for our life. I worry about my parents' health, and they need this closure. They can barely sleep at night. We beg for this. So my message is simple. Don't let Sri and Devani walk away without giving us, South Africa, and the people from all over the world the full story. Let the law take its full and proper course. Thank you.